We have some more bombshell stories about the culture at Fox News. All this is from the new book, The Loudest Voice in the Room, which investigated the head of Fox News, Roger Ailes. Ailes reportedly agreed with Glenn Beck. In fact, it's an infamous remark that Glenn Beck made a few years back that President Obama has, quote, a deep-seated hatred for white people. Now, the idea was at the time that that was even, you know, out of bounds for Fox News, and even the other maniacs at Fox News wouldn't agree. But Roger Ailes agreed with him. The only reason why Glenn Beck actually ended up losing his show is because all of the advertisers were gone. They all dropped his show. But Ailes secretly was like, yes, this guy's the best on Fox News. I love him. I think he's right. Now, if you think that that's bad, believe me, the revelations get even worse. About former Fox News reporter Kieran Chetry, quote, Anchor Bob Sellers remembered Ailes once calling the control booth. I was doing the weekend show with Kieran Chetney. He called up and said, move that damn laptop. I can't see her legs. You want to talk about a pervert. This dude was as perverted as it got. In fact, there's a policy at Fox News that the women cannot wear pants. They have to wear skirts or dresses, something that reveals their legs. And they're uh, positioned with the intent of showing off their legs. Now, it's bad no matter who's saying that this is the policy. And I'm not even sure it's legal, okay? But when it's Roger Ailes, it makes it even worse. Because Roger Ailes has this aura about him and this look about him where he just strikes you like this creeper who would touch himself while staring at somebody and they don't even know. Now, there's another incident that involved former host Catherine Cryer. Quote, be more opinionated, he told Cryer in one meeting. The guests are there as a foil for you. He also disagreed with her dress. Quote, he had admiration for her legs. A senior executive said, in one meeting, Ailes barked, Tell Catherine I did not spend X number of dollars on a glass desk for her to wear pantsuits. So he was screaming that this lady wasn't showing enough leg in his opinion. And, of course, he's the one that calls the shot, so they almost have to listen. Uh, when the book by Media Matters, The Fox Effect, came out detailing all of the factual inaccuracies and the bias at Fox News, supposedly Ailes was, quote, paralyzed by the book. So he almost realized, oh my god, we've been caught in our bullshit. Which makes me feel great that what, you know, new media is doing, progressive media is doing, independent media is doing, smart media is doing, it actually does pierce through occasionally to the morons where they say, oh my god, I just got my ass kicked here. So he was paralyzed by the book, and he waged a campaign against David Brock, who is, of course, uh, the Media Matters co-founder, I believe. And he tried to, you know, attack his, his character, attack his sexuality. He showed a picture of, like, him with Barney Frank, and one of them wasn't wearing a shirt. They were at a pool or whatever. I don't know. But he did this ridiculous smear campaign, but it was such an obvious smear campaign that it just failed miserably. Like, see, that's the thing that a lot of people don't realize. When you stand up to the bully, oftentimes the bully can't fight back. Because they're like the boy who cried wolf. Fox is so outraged 24-7 about everything that sometimes they bite off more than they could chew. And they'll attack somebody like Brock, and he's like, I don't fucking care. I already know you're full of shit. You can attack me all you want. It's just giving me more credibility and more press. So this is, a, you know, basically a lesson here that everybody should go after Fox News. When, of course, the reality is that the people within the news business... Most of them that are part of the mainstream media are terribly afraid of going after Fox News, and they actually treat the channel like it's real news, when we all know it's just talk radio on TV. Now, uh, the most stunning revelation of all, Ailes thinks that Navy SEALs should, quote, have to personally kill an illegal immigrant as part of their certification. So this is the kind of lunatic that we're dealing with. This is the kind of psychotic individual. I mean, this guy, he might actually have serious problems, like a chemical imbalance or something like that. Because you cross the line from being conservative into being just an advocate of murder. And that's what you just did. He said that they should have to, quote, have to personally kill an illegal immigrant as part of their certifications, the Navy SEALs. Okay, uh... 
that guy runs a TV channel. He runs a news channel. No, anybody who takes Fox News seriously, you know, uh, don't kid yourself. They are arguably the biggest propaganda network in the history of the world, never mind the history of the U.S., and it, it honestly, it might not even be close. 